This man, one day I was on the phone with Kanye, Pete Davidson had texted him a text of him laying in, the, in Car Kim Kardashian's bed and said, I'm in bed with your wife. Where you don't know where your kids are, you, who's watching the kids? You can't, the, the security's stopping you from going in the house to see your kids, the house that you built. Yes, you would lose it. But Kris Jenner's so masterful, she'll make the world hate you in the midst of you losing it for that you should be losing it for. So now let me ask you this as a black man. How many kids you got? Eight. Say, for instance, you and your baby moms, your wife, you're getting a divorce. All your kids is in the house with her mm -hmm. while you're trying to figure it out. She going to find her some white boy. I'll just say white because this was this situation. Pete Davidson, remember? And Pete Davidson and his sick ass riding around your neighborhood with your kids sitting on his lap, tattooing their names on his neck and, and gaslighting you as a black man. Then your baby mom, she using the press because she know if you lose it, when you go to court for them kids, she gonna be able to show how crazy you are. Any black man, any man going through that is going to lose it. And that's what was happening to Kanye at the time that I was working with him. Come on, man. Come on now, dog. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you see the clip. Why men can't lose it or shouldn't lose it. And using this clip um, is because of like guys don't realize how people spin the situation. And this happens a lot, you know? It could be like the guy thing is, is Kanye. So people say he crazy, but when the guy says I was talking to him and this happened when I was talking to him and he went off and now he crazy for the world, right? He cr Oh, he, he crazy, happens all the time. For you guys, um, for you guys who go through custody battles, who go to family court, I guarantee you, if you argue, if 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 somebody's poking at you, if you you know your ex wife, your child's mother, they poking at you, poking at you, and poking at you, because they and you like they they antagonize me. I'm about to go off on this. That's because they're recording you. They're recording you. Whatever whatever the court date is, they're gonna poke with you and poke with you until that court date. And if you and and if you do not respond, if you do not respond. They might postpone a court date and push it back to antagonize you some more until you go off. You know, ask me how I know, right? Been down that road. Um, and and when it comes to the public, it's you, you, you in the wrong and you going off and you're crazy because you're a man and blah, 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 blah. When it gets to the court system, you're a man and blah, 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 blah. You're dangerous, right? But people don't want to hear this part because just like in this situation with him, I forgot his name. Is it Jason Lee? I think so. Um, when other people are there and they can, and they witness what happens and they go, Oh, <laughs> if this would have happened to you, you would, you would have responded in the same way, but because this isn't you, uh, you're looking at this person some type of way. And this person is spinning this to make this person look a certain way. Now, I'm going to go a little bit further past this. Using that situation, I'm, I'm going to say this. Pete Davidson is a guy in the situation. He's out of this situation. But things will never be the same with um, Kanye and Kim Kardashian's mother. Never. Like, okay. All right. This will be on? Okay, no problem. Things will probably never be the same with him and Kim Kardashian. That's what we on? No problem. And when the kids find out, this is what happened. Because, you know, they, like, these kids are celebrities and know these things earlier because it's news. And, and these clips come out and they go, oh, Mama, you ain't tell me that Mr. Pete, who was who we were hanging out with, and he was supposed to be so cool, was doing this to my dad. Nah, Pete ain't so, you know, mm, mm, you're not really Uncle Pete like that now. 
You get what I'm saying? Now it's like, oh, you bitch ass, you bitch ass. That's what's going to happen, right? And then you got to have these these conversations, these questions with your kids, because now the kids are going to look at the mother like, and grandma like, oh, okay, this is what y'all do. This is what y'all do for a living. Because you, because I remember uh, Northwest going off, not necessarily going off, but getting at her mom like, what do you, what do you do for, like, what do you really do? And it's like, nothing, right? But then you see these, these actions and you go, oh, this is what you do. You create situations for attention and you make money off of it. No problem. Now for the other guys, I got to tell you the reason why this is important is because using this clip as a reference, Jason Lee can't testify for Kanye. See what I'm saying? And, and for for you other guys in court, it's like you can't, you can't necessarily you can't really testify. It, like sometimes you can, but in general, no, because oh, I was there when such and such happened. You know, I was talking to him on the phone, and this happened. Oh, it's speculation. You were just talking to him on the phone. How did you know this really happened? You know, now, well, I say this. Back in the day, your test of testimony was worthless. But because of like text messages and this, that, and the third, you can have that saved. You can you can send that to the court and they'd be like, oh, th this is what actually happened. But even if you do that, guess what? The court ain't gonna really say anything negative to the mother or the grandmother. They gonna say to you, you need to keep your composure or you're a parent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, you know, you have to deal with this. A real man who would just, you know, be all right with this. And then at the same time, if you're a person, if, if you're a person like Pete Davidson, part of you is like, man, I gotta watch my back, dog. Cause he couldn't he couldn't put hands on me then for what I did. But now I ain't with him no more. And if I travel to the wrong to the wrong place at the wrong time or the right place at the right time and he see me he might it's gonna be a fight because now you know it's like oh no i owe you one i owe you one for that you caused all of this these issues and you thought it was cute back then okay well i'm sorry i don't give a fuck and then they'll say man he lost it again you know i don't even know why he got into a fight with pete davis and that was a long time ago or oh, he, he must be jealous of what he did to kim kardashian it's like nope you tried me fool you tried me with doing that and got and there's some guys who play that game too you know like, i'm doing this I'm like what like so, some of you guys on social media i've seen it time and time i'm that kid daddy bruh you can wind up in an urn, keep playing, or, um, you know, I've seen guys fight to make sure that the father wasn't in the kid's life and then get mad that, you know, them and the mother fall out and then the father in the kid's life. Bro, yeah, see, all of this mess is going to create a, a snowball effect of consequences that you cannot control and you don't know necessarily where the consequences are coming from but and there are guys out here who are like yo man i'm not i'm not with it same thing and i say this you why you can't lose control it was a year ago two years ago when it when a guy a man went to pick up his son here in texas and he went to, to the I guess the, the the his ex wife's new boyfriend's house or new husband's house they got they were getting married whatever it was, and he picking up his son and they picking a fight with him, and the boyfriend fiance, possible husband whatever shot the father on the porch, picking up the son in the fight that they started with him, and he was like hey man this is my property I feel my, for for my life and now the kid the father's dead and the son, is living with the mama and her boyfriend or husband that killed his father. And people and people are like, you got what you wanted, ma'am, because he quote unquote lost control because you picked the fight, he lost his life, and y'all get to play the, the I'm in fear for my life game, but you got to deal with that son for the rest of your life. Mine ain't gonna work out well. And 
husband, you ain't gonna be no stepdad. I guarantee you that it's gonna y'all gonna have beef for life. But these are the reasons why you quote unquote ain't supposed to lose control because it only works in the favor of the people who start stuff with you. You know, as a man, you can't finish it. It's it's weird, but that's what it is. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had.